Greetings, everyone, and welcome back. I am a fresh-faced beard, and today we are starting out having a look at a part of the town that I've actually become quite proud of. This is the top of the Thin Hill, the beginning of our sort of um, miners' village, in inverted commas, and it's such a beautiful view through the lush trees that have now grown uh, towards the sort of uh, very brick-based workers' housing on the other side of the road. Now, the reason why we're starting here is we've had a couple of comments. Thank you, Squid, Jennifer, a couple of other people for dropping some comments there. And we'll pay attention to a couple of things to start off with. First of all, and uh, I'll get rid of my face, uh, we're going to put another well uh, over here, I think. Uh, this, uh, as per a suggestion by uh, Squid, is, uh, would make a very nice symmetrical sort of uh, sort of little uh, effort here, um, and I kind of like the idea uh, a lot. So let's do that. Uh, boom! There you go. Put that well in there, and that'll help uh, with this sort of block here. And isn't it looking good? Um, we've now got trees planted along the back, most of the way, not all of the way, most of the way, um, and those will also grow up and sort of line this. Um, line this road here it's going to be these beautiful trees all the way up at right so we're working down now this has been the other problem uh so there's this field here now this is the entrance to the field up here uh this is the path over here that i wish them to take so this l shaped over here but uh it seems that anyone sort of trying to attempt this pathing from the top in particular tends to take this cut through the field. So as you can see, we've got her coming through the field now. Uh, sometimes some of the people from the bottom, uh, he's not doing it, do tend to take the L path. So I actually think that this might have something to do with the entrance to the field here. And just so you know, Squid, I did attempt to place a bench over here uh, to block that, uh, but it uh, didn't work. And obviously I can't do that up here. Uh, so, at the moment, I'm inclined to think that the only way to fix this uh, would be just to re redo the fence entirely. So, this is the farm it's attached to. Uh, I think let's pause. And I think that actually we are going to demolish it now. And pause, and there goes the field. We'll pause again. And I think we're going to add the field this time. But I think this time we're going to try and get it in from the top here. Um, so that the entrance is on this side at the bottom. Now, it's quite a long way. Uh, it's not that too far for the workers to travel. But maybe that'll fix our problem. Uh, so let's, uh, let's uh, activate this field, first of all. Um, and let's uh, get back into the, the thing here. What are we going to do in this field? This field, these fields here, they were general purpose, these ones. So we can do some wheat for sure. Um, then I think after doing wheat, uh, let's do some, uh, that is 60% right, and that is 20, yeah, so we could do some buckwheat, uh, then let's do some sunflowers, and after sunflowers, we can do, uh, we can do some buckwheat, more buckwheat, and then we'll do a, a fallow active and plow, good. Okay, cool, so let's see, uh, if that solves this problem, I, I don't know if it will, I think it might actually have to do... Maybe it's the hill pathing. I'm not sure. Let's uh, speed this up quickly. See what happens when a couple more people come down this way. Now watch. No one's gonna. No one's gonna come down here. Uh, no one. Are you coming? Oh yes, you're making the L path. Good. Okay, someone from the top. Okay, so maybe that was the fix. Maybe the issue indeed was the fact that the opening to the field was up there. That was just causing the pathing issue. Which is not a problem, really. It also means that uh, we can actually do things like now put a spruce up here. Um, and maybe even a birch uh, over here. Maybe another one, actually. Um, and then what we can do is we can also put a bench over here as well. Uh, you see, there's always advantages. Uh, let's do a bench there. And then actually we'll put... How about another one over here? Uh, there, yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's that might have fixed our problem, uh, Squid. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Right, last thing. Uh, let's fly over town here. I do like these fly-throughs. They're very cool. Uh, low to the ground. And we've got our fishing docks. And as recommended by Jennifer, 
I have lowered the workers to three, and I'm making sure that only women and children are working as laborers. Uh, I think... Or I think maybe, or maybe what we should do is only men are working as laborers. Let's have a look. I don't know, Jennifer. What do you think? Uh, look at our, that's how open, look, look, it is October. So it is that time of year when we're meant to be harvesting. And on farms, let's just uh, fly over to a farm quickly. And do appreciate all of this uh, assistance. On farms, uh, we are only, we're, we're only hiring women uh, for farming. Uh, so... I don't know what he's doing working on that farm. Uh, maybe there was a legacy thing that I haven't changed. But we are in the middle of harvest and we are plowing most of these fields as well. So, yes, let's see how that goes, right? Okay, we do not have anything in a build queue at the moment, which which makes me worried. Um, okay, so that was kind of what I wanted to start this episode with. And now we can talk about continued uh, expansion of where, of where we're sort of going. And I think... Uh, one of the things we want to do is is these these workers houses are incredibly important so now a new thing that's been added there was a patch we can actually now put bricks in warehouses which is absolutely fantastic I think that was just patched in so I'm gonna put 2500 bricks in there um, and do we have space in here as well? Yes, let's do it. 2,500 bricks. 2,500 bricks. Okay, cool. That means that this here can clear out of its stock of bricks. Um, and we won't, uh, we won't stock up on there so quickly, uh, which is great. This granary here has got currently nothing in it. It's set those resources automatically. Uh, there's nothing for it to store. Okay. Um, and at some point, we will slow things down and we'll go through all of these very carefully to see what's happening. So dried fish has not been sold in there. We're doing okay in here. There's just no beet. There's no marrows at the moment. Um, eggs, warm clothes. Yeah, okay. We're doing okay on these ones. Um, we're just not selling uh, cucumbers there. Uh, maybe that means we need to sit in here and have a look. We're buying, yeah, we're buying, um, we're buying but not selling, um, we are trying to buy potatoes, uh, salt, that's good, there's a lot of salt in there, uh, right, let's have a look at what we've got here, the chicken meat, uh, that's what we should do in here, we should do chicken meat, chicken meat, there you go, chicken meat, and then one of these here that's not selling a lot, I think we were having trouble selling cucumbers, let's change this to chicken meat, shall we, chicken meat, there you go, chicken meat, salt chicken meat there, we got to go through those carefully and just double check. Uh, these guys are doing okay-ish. Alright, so uh, no warm clothes in stock at the moment, I don't think. We are selling chicken meat here is good. And no eggs at the moment. Uh, maybe we should get some more eggs going. Uh, but we need more people. So, people it is. People it is. Let's slow it down. So, in the new patch as well. In the storage, we got stone storage. So, this is now a place to store... Uh, stone, limestone, and iron ore. Fantastic. This is a really, really good thing. So, I want to get a couple of these in. Um, which means we can store some... Li oh, look at this. Is this is this gonna... Oh, no. Uh, okay, let's see if it gets us there. All uneven here. Oh, oh I was hoping we would get some in here. That would have been amazing. We got this in here. That's fine. Um, I'm sure we can do a couple along here. Is that uneven? Okay, how far? Should we do it that way around? Yeah, I kind of like the idea of it that way around. We can have maybe, uh... Uh, where's the uneven terrain gonna end? Uh, uneven. There you go. We can do it back up here. There you go. Uh, let's do... I wanna, I wanna get, like, quite a lot of iron ore in here. Oh, we can get one. Um, okay, well, maybe we just get one in for now. One stock of iron ore in there, uh, or that that mill there, um, and that means we can shovel things out of the stock iron, out of out of this iron ore mine stock over here, um, and shovel it into the rest of it. Because otherwise, we're just going to end up storing iron ore in here. Maybe we should get rid of this one, and and then put some iron ore storage. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe we should take this one here. Can we? Can we put some? We should build some iron ore storage into the, our way we're doing things here. Maybe even a couple along here, all of a sudden, we can really store iron. Uh, I kind of like the idea of doing this. I I'm going to do this. Um, 
we, we do want to become a powerhouse of, uh, of, of industry. I'm going to move this one slightly forward. I want them kind of semi-staggered. Um, that would be cool. It's just iron ore storage after all. Okay, uh, what, what, are you coming from Murphy? What would you like? Um, do we have any sunflower oil for you? I will do a thousand. Our coffers are doing fairly well at the moment. Buckwheat, I don't have anything for you. Chicken eggs, I'll do you some iron. I'll do you a thousand iron. Uh, that's a good deal, that one. Um, right, yes, good. So that's keeping our money going. Let's have a look here. We're doing barley, barley beetroot, cabbage, good. Let's have a look here at the issues, uh, problems. Problems, problems, problems. Supply for oxen is disabled. No, that is not good. Supply for oxen, please. Do you have oxen? Oh, yes, they are. Okay, maybe they died. Maybe our oxen died. That's not good. Uh, that's not good. Where are our cows? Let's see if we've got um, any we can make into an ox here. Bulls, six months, bulls. Yes, okay. Let's make these two ox um, and get them onto that plow. Good idea. Um, we've still got a fair amount of decoration to do up this end of town. And our guys are doing a really good job of chopping back these trees here. Um, where's uh, where's our... Uh, it's over here. There's forestry. Uh, mark trees for removal. Let's get these ones, guys. Uh, let's, let's keep chopping this, this tree line back here for us, please. Uh, this is all to go. Um, and then I think we've got one over here as well. Uh, and get you guys onto thinning back the tree line over here. Uh, let's get rid of all of these. Yeah, we'll just thin some over here. We'll just get them to keep working that tree line backwards, you know? Um, and that'll create some more space for farms up here for us. And perhaps maybe even some more villages, you know? You gotta get to, you gotta have the farmland out here, uh, for sure. What's this? Is this a water issue? Do you have a water issue? Okay, we might need another well here. Squid, you're correct. These guys chomp on the well, so... Um, let's do it. Another one over here. Right. Well, that's two wells. And then I'm maybe even thinking we should get one over here. Just for beauty's sake. Uh, let's do it. Uh, let's put a well in over here. Uh, is this our first stone storage? Is this one over here? Yes. Okay, we haven't seen these being built yet. Uh, let's just uh, fast forward this and see how this gets built. So it's just wooden nails. Uh, it's, it should be a fairly simple uh, structure. I'm actually going to bump these wells up ahead here. Water is important, you know. Uh, we do have problems enabled now. So as you can see, uh, the town is running perfectly. We've got no food, no money issues. Really good. Very happy about that. Uh, very happy about that indeed. Okay, have we bought everything, everyone? No, we haven't. Okay. So, while we're waiting for... Oh, here we go. So, it's just going to be a... I reckon it's just going to be a box, really. A, a box that they can put iron ore in. Um, it's going to be really good to store... Could we store stone in the in the things uh, up till now? Uh, we couldn't. We couldn't. So, only in there. So, let's do... Um, Iron ore in here. Uh, laborers, we will do men and women, shall we? Uh, laborers by hand, Carter for sure. Apply to all. We'll do drop this to 90% wage, shall we? Um, that's probably not going to bring anyone in there too soon. Um, but uh, the buildings of this type, okay. Uh, so that'll fill up, I I'm hoping, with iron ore. Uh, Fairly simple structure, but useful, nevertheless. All right, let's slow it down quickly. Uh, we'll come back to doing some decoration in here. But I think the most immediate thing is is going to be checking how many bricks we have stored. Good. We have bricks in here. Do we have bricks in there? No, not yet. They're just funneling the bricks across here. Great. Um, right, okay. This has grown nicely. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. Uh, that's cool. So when you look over here against that... Oof, so good, isn't it? Wow. And we're going to have to do a lot of tree planting here and getting this area good as well. So up here, this is going to be more forest. Uh, and now we are thinking about housing. So I think we should continue with uh, our brick housing um, and perhaps plan out a, a lot more than we initially thought or planned to. Um, I would like at this point, 
um, to think about how a path goes down this way. I think that what we should have is two, a house with two floors. Um, let's see how close we can how close we can bring this in, shall we? Um, there. I think there's 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 mirroring it almost perfectly so we'll do that now we could do the one with the arch there but i think what i'll do is i'll do another one actually uh let's do it in like that fantastic oh okay um this side here is going to be very steep steep terrain over here but I would like another entrance in the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another two. We're going to make this quite a long street. I'm going to make it a long street. Uh, oh, we're going to do this the other way. There you go. That's better. That's better. Uh, awesome. Awesome. And can we F1 these? Uh, okay, modify placement. Cancel. Uh, if we F2, is it going to... No, it doesn't It doesn't let us choose the design. It just auto-swaps the design. That's not a problem. Now, I think what I want to do is I want to get one of these two row houses with the arch. Um, and we're going to have an exit out the back here. Um, let's do that like that. And we're going to do exactly that on this side here. Um, and this is going to be an exit down to this side of the world here. Yeah. Boom. All right. Okay, good. There's a couple more row houses for those families to take on. Let's speed things up quickly. Um, are they getting to this well here? They've gotten to that well. Great. Okay. So this here should really help um, for citizens. Okay, cool. Should really help with that. I'm wondering if we should put up a production specific well over here. You don't need water. You don't need water, do you? Weavers workshop. We've got a weavers and tailors up here. All right. Yeah, we're going to do warm clothes for this guy, don't we? Um, where is the other? Uh, there's the other one. Let's apply. Let's apply the same. Same. Um, broadcloth. We don't want any broadcloth in here because you don't make warm clothes. Uh, not. There you go. Um, we do need sheepskin. Oh, you just need textile, don't you? Clothes just make... Clothes just need textile, right? Hemp or linen textile. Yes, okay. So you don't you don't actually even need, um, sheepskin. Uh, just, boom, nothing. Okay. Uh, next one. Back to where we were. You. You, however, uh, don't need any textile, but you can have all the others. Laborers by hand, laborers by cart. Uh, yes, okay, cool. And uh, let's hope that we get something in there soon. Right, okay, so um, that well's now built. So that's good. There's a little bit more water around this edge of town. And in here, we are slowly getting up our uh, iron ore storage. Although there's no one working in these. Uh, there's no one working in those. Uh, it's these row houses. We have to start finishing everyone. That's where it's all at, isn't it? Um, all right, so while these row houses start building out, and I'll check in with you just now, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of decoration. Um, I'll see you all in a few moments. All right, everyone, we're slowly plugging away at these uh, houses here, and in doing a little bit of decoration, I realized that perhaps one of the things that we should, in fact, be doing is looking to put down another brickyard. Now, the thing is, is that another brickyard would go perfectly over here. But a brickyard is going to require sand. And there is no sand in this area. So I'm kind of partial to finding a new area to put a brick in. Now, there is no sand down here. That would have been great because this would have been a... Oh, there is sand over here. We could do something down here, couldn't we? No, but then it's it's too much in that area. Ooh, we've got some white lines here from the uh, the the markets. Interesting. Where else do we have sand? We have sand on this side. There's sand over here. Um, there's a little bit of sand up here. Uh, there's sand in here. Uh, ooh, down here. Uh, is there enough over here? No, not enough here at all. Um, so maybe what we should do is maybe we should start a brickyard on this side of the of the world. Um, that wouldn't be the worst thing, um, 
I mean, uh, it would be nice to have something over there. We can't store sand, I don't think. Um, yeah, you can't store sand in one of these things. Sands have to come. Sand has to come out of that pit, and you kind of want the the uh, it's clay as well, right? You need clay, and yeah, they're going for the clay and the and the sand there, the bricks. It's a uh, batch size. Code. What are they waiting for? Charcoal, preparing for burning. Okay, wow, they're they're roaring through these these bricks here. Okay, let's slow this down. We really need to think about this. Okay, if that's the way it's going to go then. Let's see. Let's just do an experiment. Let's get another one. Uh, another another brick workshop. If we get another brick workshop in here, what will happen? Now, let's see if we can fix it in here. Sit, fit in here. In the uneven terrain. Um, uneven, uneven. No, we can't fit it here. Oh, wait. There was a spot. Where was it? I saw it there. Oh, that could be quite cool, couldn't it? Um, oh, I'd love to F1 that and just have a closer look at how that looks. Let's see. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, I could live with that. Down by the water like that. Let's put it in. Um, and let's see what happens. Um, it's gonna need a close water source. Um, where is the closest water source? Might have to build one for it. Let's build one in. Um, we'll do a well. Um, that's all the uneven terrain in the world here. Can't do it on here. That's far too steep. Um, what happens if we pop the well in like this? Um, like that. We'll move that up there. See if we can get this in and let's see if we can get more bricks going out here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do a little store yardish over here. And then I'm thinking that we do a buffer zone here with something. Uh, I'm not quite sure what yet. And then we do some more housing out this way as well. And that could be quite cool. That could be quite cool indeed. Right, you can also start felling these trees here. Uh, we don't need these here. These need to be chopped. Uh, as we make way for housing there, as we wrap, we're going to wrap around here. We're going to wrap around this peninsula here. Um, as we expand further in here, so the town's going to kind of grow in this big area here. And hopefully down the end too. I love this marshland here. We're also going to grow out this way. We're going to grow everywhere, basically. We're going to grow everywhere. We're going to make this town shoot for the stars. Uh, right, let's see. We're on full blast here. Here we are. Okay, so just waiting for the clay to come in there. I think that would be that would be fantastic. I wonder if in the meantime, while we're doing this, we can actually just get a couple more trees in here. Um, right. Like that. Uh, let's get a birch. Yeah, I want to get these planted. Uh, too close, too close. Too close. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Um, that's all right. Let's do one over there. I'm going to get those trees planted so we can get this bank sort of tree here. That's not like a... Look how fantastic this is looking. I mean, when you look at it over here like this. Whoa, it's beautiful. Look at that beautiful town there. Wow. Um, with these, I actually even really like the fact that the trees go at a slight skew angle up here. It makes this field interesting. And this is the main road here now. Of this little town here, up to that windmill. Yeah. This weird like I'd like to fix this out at some point. I don't like the way that sometimes it does the jagged angles there. But you know, you can't have everything. I think our apple trees are starting to produce as well. Yes, since planted three. Yes, that's good. So those apple apple trees will start making apples. Brand, we've got this going now. Let's this is good. This is very good. This is very, very, very good. Right, actually, while we're doing this, let's just continue with a little bit of decoration here. Um, I kind of wanted to put this in there, but that's not going to fit. Maybe what we do is we, uh, we we mark the fact that this is a, a brick production area here with a bit of a bit of a, a, a an entrance there. Let's continue with that fence. Oh, like that. There you go. Oh, I have to get the alt out. There you go. Okay, so we're creating a bit more of a production area here. Do we have anything to sell to you? Let's keep our 
money going here. We're doing pretty good. We're sitting in the 5,000s. Uh, so we're not at all, um, we're not at all suffering, I don't think, um, at all. Um, right, it's May though, so the food does need to come in. Our food isn't the most stable in the world, um, but it is there. It does work. Oh, died of old age, that's fine. Dying of old age is cool. We're gonna have to think about health at some point too, aren't we? Oh, wow, look at that. That's so great. Look at that. We've got some first of our trees out here is growing out here in the in the park. Um, this is going to extend all the way down the hill, this tree, these tree slots. Um, and we also need to start thinking about some wagons at some point, getting some wagons going so we can start moving some things around town. Oh, fantastic. Is this almost done? We're almost done here. Um, we're just on the final, I think we're building the final stone kiln at the moment. Let's build the final stone kiln, everyone. Um, and then we can get you up and running, hopefully. Um, oh, a little bit, a uh, little bit janky there with the steps. Ground. Let's see how it renders in, in the end. When it's finished. Look a bit, a bit floaty, if you ask me. Uh, oh, okay, we, 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 we fixed that. Uh, this isn't that fixed. But that's fine. Uh, that's fine. We'll just go to this brickworks here, and we'll just go apply to all, and apply to all. Great. So that should get this one operational. Great, yes. Um, and then what we'll do is, we will think about, um, what could, what could be good in this area here? I was thinking some storage sheds, um, just to sort of round it off. Let me get two in. Two's looking good to me. Let's get two storage sheds in here. Right. Two storage sheds. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll replicate this e exit over here. Right. Replicating that exit. Um, and then we'll do some trees over here. And uh, this is going to be into an entranceway over here, like that. Right. Let's uh, let's get this up. We gotta we gotta keep our keep our, our stuff together here. The odd paths don't get created. Uh, let's do that there, um, and then do you straight out like that. Boom. That you can go. Sort of all the way, I think, to there. Then we'll just cut you, cut you into the bank like that. I don't think you need to go any further. I don't think anyone's going to be making any disjointed, disjointed maneuvers through this way, that way. And we'll plant some more trees here, and uh, give this a little bit of shape to it. Um, so that's another. Um, that's a long way for them to go. Um, so they have to travel from there all the way down here to fetch back. So. This is going to be a sort of secondary, um, Max Batches 3, a secondary brickworks, um, but it should help us in some way, uh, keep the bricks, uh, coming in at a fairly okay-ish rate. Uh, lime, lime, we're, we're short of lime, is that what we're short of? Right, lime, can we buy you lime, lime, we're going to buy all of this lime from you, bought. Uh, can I sell anything to you though? Uh, I will sell you all of that. I will sell you no potatoes. Um, yes, I think I will just buy that from you. The lime. Good. Uh, we need lime, it appears. Um, yes, lime. We've got... Ooh, we're low on the charcoal. Thousand bricks in stock. Okay. I'm glad we got that other brick guy up and running. Um, so we've got one of these dudes up and running so far. Um, just, just one here. Um, what are we waiting for over here? We're waiting for 3,000 oh, bricks, you see. these Just these additional resources required. Um, but we're going to build these now. We're going to keep slotting in some of these uh, as we go along. Let's just hope that these brick brick guys keep moving. Well, I think we're going to have to set up a solid brickyard later on. Um, but at the moment, what I kind of wanted to do was finish our mining area here. Um, and then get a buffer zone in. So let's get out the rest of our mines in. So we can get one in like there. And then this one can go in 
over there, there, and again, I'm fairly close, maybe there. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to bump these up the queue as well. Um, where's this gazebo? Let's bump that one up the queue as well. And the reason why we're doing that is I just want to get some time to, to set, to build some, to store up some bricks. Uh, this over here is definitely going to be bricks. 2,500 bricks. Um, in fact, actually, you know what? Let's just do 10,000 bricks here. This is a brick storage hut. Um, if we can, Pete Sirs. Uh, it's a narrow walkway there, but I'm actually fine with that. Um, can we get, can we get some of this fencing? Oh wait, let's do trees first. Do a pine. Pines, a couple of pines. Maybe a spruce. Uh, I want to plant these trees in here first. Um, get them sorted. Maple. Yes. Maple, oh, maple. Oh, we've got a trader. Uh, let's get a birch in, shall we? See if we can get a thin birch. Uh, too close, too close, too close. Okay, that's fine. Um, because what we're going to do now is we're going to follow this fence here. Uh, there. We're going to go down like this. Um, oh, no. Place is occupied. Okay, that's not good. Um, like that. To there, and then we'll just do a cross, like, to there. Oh, 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 did I block them? I blocked them. I blocked them. Okay, we have to get rid of this one quickly, so you can come plant that one. Um, and then we'll block that off and make this a little bit of a sort of... That's going to look good there. Once there's a lot of trees grow up there, it'll be, it'll be fairly hidden as well. I think we should also maybe slot some benches behind here. Uh, let's do a bench... Over there, and a bench here, another one over here. Um, maybe we even do one down here as well, like that. Gee, look at that. Um, let's get a maple in over here. It's cool. And maybe even a maple up here. Definitely one in over there. And we definitely need a cottonwood. That's... And then maybe a birch over there. Yes, and now we've started uh, sort of uh, putting this corner in. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay, we can we can up the we can up the number of bricks here slightly. Um, and our jobs are doing better. I think um, it's our it's our woman. It's August, so it's uh, harvest time of the year, and that's when we really need a lot of laborers. Um, but no one's looking for a job, um, and it's mainly I think. Yeah, it's those men who need the jobs, and I think once we've got a lot of men, once these are all built, I really am hoping that this is going to solve and shine when it comes to our uh, our trading here, or our ability to staff this place with workers. It's going to be great. Okay, so this one's going up. We're just going to spend a lot of wood now on um, a lot of resources on the mines, but once these mines are up, we can actually uh, demarcate this mining area here, um, which... Oh man, when these are all pumping, uh, we're gonna have so much to go for us. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's let's while that's building, let's just talk about what we're gonna do over here quickly. I'm kind of inclined to build another. I'm um, in mean, use another orchard as a buffer block. Um, I think that actually might be what we're gonna do. You're gonna buy co charcoal from us, uh, so we're definitely gonna sell to you. You're definitely gonna buy it. You might even buy iron from us. No, but you wanna buy some apples. I don't have any apples in store. Um, we might have some shoes. I'll sell you a thousand shoes. Go a thousand shoes. There you go. We have leather at the moment. Um, leather. I think we should buy some more leather, right? Um, will you sell us some leather? Uh, ooh, wow, eight hundred and forty-five. Uh, why not? Let's just buy. Wait, I'll do two thousand. Two thousand. That's better. Five hundred. Yeah, 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 deal, deal. We'll buy that leather off you. That seems like a good idea. Um, let me see, actually, if uh, I can stock apples here for you. Uh, let's do apples now. Um, let's do apples. Do a thousand. Should have apples coming in at some point. Uh, because these are going to start now. 
Um, which actually, while we're talking about that, let's do it. Let's use this as a buffer. So, if we do this, um, we can F1 these, right? But yes, okay, that's good. Um, I was kind of hoping that we could... Oh, okay, um, we're gonna do it this way around. Um, let's do... Okay, uh, we're gonna have to, I think, do it like this. Um, that's not gonna move. Right, so there's definitely gonna be that gap there, but we can do it down like, oh yes, that helps. Uh, like that. And that. That's quite an apple field, that. I kind of like that a lot. Um, and then we could put a gazebo here for the miners. Uh, maybe another even cart, uh, maybe even like another cart parking. Um, and then um, maybe another apple farm. Yeah, like a long one. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm not, I'm not impartial to that idea. Um, enter it's in and we'll slide them up the queue let's do yeah after the after the last ones there okay good none of these are operational yet yet um and then what we can do is this area here um we can do a nice gazebo oh you know what we really need to do actually um uh, where's the where, where can i get rid of the stupid uneven terrain there you go Let's do it. Is this really uneven all the way down here? Oh, we can do it like that. Get one like that. That's cool. We're gonna do like that. Okay. Get a gazebo in there. We gotta get one of these freedom gazebos. So uh, I did. Uh, I did purchase the DLC, and we got the patron of the arts monument here. Um, I really, actually, you know what? We gotta do that. We gotta get one of these up here. That's that's what's gonna be. Yeah. Uh, patron of the arts. Yes, uh, let's, we will do a couple of these around, but I really like the idea of this up here. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to get it in. Okay, who's come? Uh, charcoal, uh, I'll sell you 4,000. Uh, 4,000. Uh, just keeping our coffers up. Shoes, I'll do a 1,000 shoes. We are making money on shoes, everyone. Um the moment shoes are our bread and butter it's really good um okay cool how are we doing on this it's just those bricks okay but we're all distracted because we're doing these iron mines and then this thing here which is good um okay so these are all storages here um that means we can get some trees up around them um be close to another tree how about there there um, can we do one in here? Cottonwood. There, like that. Um, where is a birch? Do a birch in there. Maybe we can get another one in here somewhere. No, we can't. Okay, that's fine with me. Uh, lilac bushes? No. Nope. Yes, maybe. Yeah, one there, one there, one there. Let's do another one there. Uh, how about a kelder? Elder Rose, there you go, and then the rest of it is going to be Dog Roses, to fill in the gaps. Um, there you go, I know you can fit one in there, no, okay, cool. So a little uh, cluster of trees over there, uh, what are we doing over here, are we finishing this one? Well done guys, well done guys, look at that, that is what you call a mining town if you've asked me. Once these are going, we churning out iron ores, it's going to be a town that is going to be worth a real reckoning for <laughs> i don't know what i was saying there but uh yeah um okay what are we going so this orchard will go up and i think that is once this orchard's up uh that'll be the end of this episode um because i think the next episode will just extend some housing out here some sort of normal housing uh maybe with some gardens and we'll figure out how we want this it to join to the top here uh if at all um, because I think that we need to start building out this way here um, and figuring out we need some more iron uh, this needs to be some more iron uh, what you call these things smelteries over here um, and we need, do need to get a couple more, more iron mines up in there I don't want the that iron to go to waste at all 
And at some point, we're probably going to need a few more farms as well. Um, because, yeah, we, we, we're, not prog we're not processing nearly enough here. Linseed. Wow, we've really chewed through our linseed. That's our chickens, isn't it? That's our chickens. That's the chick. Where's the chickens? Chickens. What are you eating so much of, chickens? Um. Yeah, wheat, barley, buckwheat, and yeah, linseed. They're going through that like uh nothing on earth. Let's do 400 barley as well. Um, apply to all. Um, I don't want them eating our sunflower. Um, yeah, okay, and then. Uh, 1425 livestock limit. Uh, let's take that down to 20. Uh, 20, yeah. Uh, that's cool. Where's the other one? 20. Let's take this down to 20 as well. Uh, 20. Although it is giving us a lot of uh, chicken meat, which is good. Um, food reserve, two years. Okay, okay, okay. So there's enough food in there for a while. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, cool. Looks like we've got this one up as well. Uh, we're definitely going to do apples. Um, let's apply this to all. So hopefully we'll get some people working in here. So another apple orchard up here. Planning for the future, um, which is good. Um, do we have actually someone working here? We do already. Grand. So uh, next episode, we will uh, round off what is our uh, mining area here. Uh, put in some benches. Um, in fact, actually... We will definitely do stuff like this, uh, which is put in um, more um, uh, cart parkings like that, uh, which we can move up. Um, and we will continue to spec this out and then probably put a couple more garden houses out here. Um, maybe need another market. Um, we'll think about that. Um, probably another bridge to the other side at some point. There's got to be a bridge here at some point as well. I uh, don't know where the best spot for that's going to be. We might have to over here, maybe. I don't know. Um, or maybe over here. Maybe, maybe over here. Maybe the bridge goes goes that way. Maybe there's a link to this lower portion of the town here too. Who knows? Who knows? We will see in the next episode. And as always, I thank you so much for joining me. Thank you I, always so much to those of you who've made comments and suggestions. I really do appreciate it. Um, and I hope to see you guys for the next one, um, where we will do what I just said. So until then, look after yourselves. I am The Beard, signing out.